Hello everybody, good day to you, welcome back. This is a 2017 Chevrolet Silverado, 56,211 miles on the odometer. Uh, customer has a brake vibration and uh, would like brakes replaced. We're doing front and rear pads and rotors. Ah, uh, copyright, power down. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, we're gonna drive over to my truck because his parts are in the back of my truck. And I don't wanna carry them, so we're gonna back them, or we're gonna back this truck up to my truck and then transfer the parts. Uh-oh, how's this thing work? Twist, lift, lift. There we go, got it. Figure that out. <sighs> rear rotors, front rotors, front and rear pads. That's what we need. that on there. Move it on over. Next. Uh oh, camera gravity. Hi guys. So I hope this is gonna work out. I don't even have an air compressor yet. I mean, I have one, but it's not hooked up. I should have brought my little one just in case. I can't even check tire pressure yet. Oh no. I think I'm gonna use uh, my big lift. Number one, my little lift has stuff in the way and I like the big one better. Plus this is the truck, we're using the truck lift. That's how it's gonna be. And I get practice on swinging this turn right here. Cause uh, that corner scares me. Come on. Well, if this truck fits, I or if my truck fits, I know this truck fits. Let's get this thing in here. All right. We made it. We're in. Right about, let's say, here. Parking's the auto. All right, let's get this party started here. Green subscribe button. Uh, no. Hmm. Technical difficulties. Yeah, let's turn that breaker back on. We were doing some work in here yesterday. Maybe that was it. I hope that was it. Otherwise, uh, I'm in trouble. Okay, try again. There we go. Moving on up. All right, let's give it the safety shakes. I'd rather have it fall low than fall high. I say right about here. And on the locks for safety. You gonna lock? There we go. Clicks right on. All right, let's pull this apart. Hope oh, I got enough battery. I didn't bring an extra. And I didn't bring a charger. Who oh, knew? No. Lighting in here is terrible. Seriously, you see all the shadows? I need yeah. I need more more lumens. I'm gonna get. I want to get some of those uh, industrial shop lights, the big round ones, they're like two feet around, yeah. like the 10,000 lumen. I think I can get away with like three or four of them in here and it'd be good. Uh, these haven't been off there in a while. That's okay. I'll hit it with a hammer. If it works up north, it'll work down here. The guys from north are like, are you serious? You thought that was bad? Clean. What do we got in here? Yeah, oh, you cut it. You brought it close, buddy. You're down to like one millimeter. Yeah. Hey, come here, guys. We have no pad. It's almost metal to metal. Hmm. Nice. Got your money for it. You have a, you have a friend. Uh huh. Now, listen, it only came up because I watch your chat. Unclicks. So the guy who All right, let's try this again. Unclicks. Yeah. It's gonna be the longest brake job in history. I'm going so slow today. Seriously. Oh man, we're we're like two hours into it and I haven't even taken the, the caliper off yet. That's terrible. Come here. Yeah, I'm out of practice. It took me like four attempts just to find the right socket to fit these bolts. Bolt gravity. There it goes. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's get this out of here. This one kind of corroded. Right, I'm just going to pull the bracket off for that one. Yeah, that one's in there. Okay. Bracket, what's that, an 18? Sure. Okay, let's see here. That better be an 18. Yep. Unclicks. Oh. No. It's tight. Super tight and tight. Oh. There we go. Woo! Wonder if my little uh, impact will fit in there. Let's find out. Mm, yes. Loud noises. Come here. There we go. Freedom. Here, let's get uh, let's get this pad out of here. There. We have new hardware, so these are going away. And these need lubricant. Nasty. Clean that one off. Goodbye, old grease. Okay, so I've been wandering around and I can't find my, my brake lubricant, so I need to order some. So since we're on standby, let's go pull the rest of the, the wheels off. I'll take more stuff apart. Impact gun cam. Or not. Strip lug nut cam. Ring. See what these fronts look like. Uh, no. Gravity. Mm, well, we got some crusty rust action. Uh, yeah, these fronts, they're down to about two, three millimeters. Yep, it is time. Let's pull this caliper off next. There we go. Nice. Mm. Mm, more pry bar. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Uh, I'm making a rust mist on my floor. Come out. Okay, what do we got here? About three to four mils on this one. I'm giving this one a one or a two. Yeah, that's pretty thin. Cut it pretty close. Nice. These come out. Okay. It's fine. Okay. That's fine. Level two escalation. Alright, let's get this rotor off of here. There. Let's see if this little set screw is gonna come out. You gonna come out? Or you gonna give me a hard time? It said yes. Okay, cool. Good. Ding. Well, that was easy. Tink, tink. Crusty. Let's make this nice and shiny. There we go. 
Now the moment you have all been waiting for. I'm getting rusty. Oh, I broke it. Hang on. I'm totally rusty. Let's try that again. And one more time. There. Shiny. That wasn't shiny enough though. New rotor coming in. Let's see how this goes. Yep. And I put these back. Some don't. Some do. I do. And kick. All right. Let's uh depress these pistons a little bit and then we'll move on to the next axle or the next wheel use my little ratcheting guy still waiting on that uh on that lube Ooh, these are kind of tight you gonna go or do we need to put a caliper on this you're gonna go. It is my will. Yep, it's going. All right. One more. Two more. There we go. Let's move off to the right front. Spin that around. Good. You stay, back for you later. Rolling, rolling. Ooh, wrecking on a tire. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And poof, just like that, tire's off. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, it's in similar condition. Not bad. It's all those loud noises. Someone's making a mess. Unclip, please, thank you. Brake caliper disassembled. Ooh, it almost got my fingy. This side did a little better. About four millimeter pad thickness, maybe five, maybe six. Brake pad click, get out of there. I'll hammer you out later if you don't. Yeah. It chooses violence. Ah. Dust. Hang on, I need to turn the fan. I'm not breathing this. There we go. Airflow. Prevents respiratory illness. I'm upwind of the dust. More shiny. All right, rotor coming in. <laughs> right about, that's good. Let's 
reset screw. Kickage. Very nice. Alright. And one more caliper to compress. Uh oh. We have a uh, caliper boot that's sticking out. Let's put that back. You go back where you go. Beautiful. Okay, one more corner to disassemble. And then we'll put it all back together. Yeah, I'm getting back into the swing of things. Ah. Kind of. Click. Ah. Click. Get on there. There. Good. All right, Bracket. You're up. Come here. Hmm, no. Twice. Come on now. Come here. Noises. Obnoxiously loud noises. Got it. Got to pull these little retainer clips next. I didn't do the other side yet. Those are factory clips so the rotors don't fall off while the chassis are upside down. Or the frames, rather. They're assembled uh, inverted. Fun fact. Hammer. That totally worked. Alright, let's get uh, this one cleaned up. Kind of the worst one so far. Nice. Beautiful. Clean out these uh, parking brake shoes too. Make it all nice and tanny. Axle seals look good. Check those for leaks while we have the opportunity. Upsells and whatnot. Ah, another! Like I said, I buy my brake clean, or or you guys send it to me by the case. The other. All right, new rotor. Good fitment on the parking brake. I can feel it. Good to go. All right, my uh, my lubricant's here, so let's go ahead and we're gonna change directions and go counterclockwise. Uh, we'll go ahead and do these pads and this bracket. Then we'll move to the front and then left, and then we'll finish where we started on the on the left rear. Sound like a plan? Sure. All right. What we're gonna need is this caliper bracket. Right here. Get these pads out. A little rust jacked in there. Just a little. Let's get these shims out. And uh, new shins, that's the new ones. I think these are the ones. Yes, survey says they match. Good. Yeah, that's uh, what I was waiting on. Some uh, caliper slide lube. I have several bottles of this, but it's still in my trailer, and I forgot to unload it. 
or I did unload it and it's here and I'm not organized enough yet to remember where it's at. That, that also could be the uh, situation. Either way, I went and ordered a, uh, another, so now I have more. It's purple, so you know it's good. Oh, too much. It's all spilling out of the rim there. There we go. Not too much, not too little. Squeeze the air out. Give it a twist, and we're good. All right, bracket coming in. There we go. Bolt number two. Ooh, I can hear that hurricane wind out there. It's picking up. The building was making creaking noises. Kick. Down there, neutral drop. Here, I'll finish it off with my wrench. Manual kicks. Another. Yeah. Okay, taking uh, the old pad, we can see the witness marks from the, uh, the piston and the caliper. And then there's the little squealer tab, so I'm going to match that up with a new one. It tells me this is going to be the inboard pad on this axle. So let's get this guy in, and then we'll uh, slap the outboard pad in, which has no shims on it. No, no shim here, no shim here. Like so. Alright, let's get our caliper in. Taking care to not twist the hose. It happens. Put that in, squeeze that pin in. Looking good, feels good, it must be good. Let's get her bolted down. And number two. Lined up, good. Uh oh, spinning. Got friction in all the wrong places. It's okay. Got tools for that. Sticks. And same thing up top. You guys can't see. Now you can. More clicks. There we go. Okay. To the right front. Let's get out of here. Okay, we are back at the right front. Let's uh, let's get these guys out of here. And then into here. Come on. And that's in there too. Dang. Please come out. There we go. Got it. Come on, corrosion, let go. Fine. Number two. Uh, where's my little scrubby? Where, oh where, have I lost my wire brush? There it is. Let's get some of this trash out of here. Hang on. You know, this is cool. I'm starting to actually feel like I, I got a job again, because I'm breaking. Clean this one up right here. Good. Yeah, and then when I'm when I'm done with this job, I can I got to get back to uh, supplying the store. I need to. I still need office equipment, more stuff. There's uh, so much to do before I can really, really start taking in customers. That's nasty. Look at that. Let's clean that off of there. It was almost to the point of no return. Yeah, I need a I need a bench grinder. That's next. Bench grinder, wire wheel. I need a bench. I've got my toolboxes, but I don't think uh, 
Yeah, I don't have really a bench to work off of because I'm gonna need a vise. It's not cutting it for me. Yeah, bench, a vise, a flat tabletop, which I guess that's a bench. I need a computer. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. And it's not even what I brought this for. I brought it for this. What am I thinking? Shiny. Oh, almost shiny. We're getting there. Much more better. Where's that other one at? It's still in here. That one's good. We're in good shape here. All right, let's get it lubed up and shimmed up and uh, prepared for install. There we go. Next, this one cleaned up pretty good. It's a little bit pitted but not on the sliding surface, so this one can stay. Good. Shims, shims, shims. Get out of here, bag. We don't need you. Okay. Shapes and colors, don't forget, Ray. I forgot. It, uh, yeah. Um, no, that's gotta be it. Just like that. Yeah. Click. It went in. It's good. Mm, tight squeeze, though. I'll tell you that. Get on there. Making sure it's flat. Flat and flat. Sometimes the tabs can bend and then it'll kind of push the shim out. And then the, uh, the pad will bind. And that's not what we want to do. But as long as it sits good and flush, then it's okay. See how that one's off center? That's what we don't want. Hope you can see. Lighting is still terrible. I'm working on it. Please click. Ah. Got it. That's our inboard side. Inboard pad according to the old pad. So that one's going in right there. How's the fitment gonna, gonna work out? Gonna go? Yes, kinda close. There it is. Give it a love tap. Hmm, or not. It's starting to bind a little bit. One more time from the, we'll do it the opposite way. Bottom side in first. There's a little tab that's bent out on these shims that kind of digs into the, the bracket and the pad is not having a good time getting past that little tab. Got it. Okay, other side. Let's get this pad in next. Pass the clip. Everybody slides freely. You gotta check that, especially on these rusted boys because they can bind up and then cause premature pad wear. And uh, we don't want that. We want normal pad wear. It's good. Okay, back at the right front. Let's go ahead and hang this bracket with its pads. Scooch over, please. Very good. Lining up, kinda. Get in there.
Hmm, what are we doing? We're not lining up. Why? Why are we not lining up? Because my pads are not in the right spot. They're pressed in too far. Let's back it up. Okay. I actually pulled this pad out and uh, sanded a little bit more at the mating surface because it was binding up at the end of its throw. Just a wee bit and I didn't like it. But now, we're good to go. Put that in. Cool. Incoming loud noises. Click. That one's good, that one's good. And caliper. Very good. Click. Again, taking care to not twist the uh, the brake hose. That would be bad. All right, two are done. Two more to go. Let's clean off my fingerprints. Missed a spot. This is, yeah, this this truck, uh, track is like 20 years old. I used to listen to this in high school. Yeah. Weird. Be rusting. Clean that up. It's just a flap wheel. I know there's better tools, but I don't have them right now, nor do I have a vice, so I'm doing this uh, the hard way. Whee! Gross. Not shiny. Twice. More purple lubricant. Go. One numero dos. Uh, we're starting to get contaminated. The old lube is mixing in with the new lube. It's inevitable. There we go. Uh, da -da, shapes and colors. Hang on, I'm gonna figure this out. No. Oh, these are for the rears, I'm dumb. Okay, try again. That's twice that I did that. Two times. Clickage. Let's see how these are gonna fit. There we go. Yeah, it's a little tight. Just a little bit, okay. Normally I would do this with my flat, uh, wheel but it's air powered and my little compressor is not here and my big compressor is not uh, wired up yet we're slumming it there we go back to basics now if it was basics I would have like a, a file I've done it Pass the tab. That's better. Lubricant. Let's see. 
How's this one gonna fit? Too tight, too loose, just right. Survey says a little tight. I can't like it. Calper, bracket, coming with me. I got kids, I can ignore anything. That's how I'm ignoring you. That's that's making the final edit, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it's actually the wrong tool. We'll do impact clicks. So you know it's good. And caliper coming in, not twisting the hose. These pins have already been greased. Just in case you missed it. Two more bolts to hold the caliper to its bracket. We can finish off with the left rear. Okay. Fix. Nice. Okay. Round four, fight. Oh, I still have to finish prepping this side. Got ahead of myself. Now I'm behind myself. Come here. Come on, you. My welding pliers are not the right tool for this. Don't look. You don't want to watch me smash your truck with a hammer. Coming in, shiny. You guys move over here. Okay, one more piston to compress. Ooh, my tool's not gonna fit. Uh-oh. But this one will. This must be done carefully. If I put a side load on that piston, I could damage it or crack it. And uh, that would be bad. Customer waiting. There. Okay. 
There we go. Nice. Stay. Bracket pads coming in. You guys see? No, you can't. Now you can. There it is. Torquage round two. One more time here. That one's not right. There. Okay, let's get our caliper on now. That's good. Everybody's bolted in, lined up, ready to rock. Come here, bottom one. Get on. Clicks. There we go. All right. Yeah, yeah we're about there. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the rear is more straight forward than the fronts I crossed coming to the back, yep. Whoop. There we go. Alright, let's uh let's hop in here and get this thing on its way for a test drive. Claiming in starting the engine. You can't see because it's kind of dark, but uh, I'm pumping the brake pedal to collapse the pistons in the calipers. That way they make contact with the pads and then the pads can make contact with uh, the rotors. And uh, backing out the auto honks for safety. Some things don't change, some things do. And we've cleared all obstructions except for that uh, Ford engine block back there. Let's not run into that. Looking good. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this. This little 45 degree turn into the shop. But I do need to readjust. Pulling forward. There we go. Ding. Fries are done. Okay, final check. I'm going to be listening for uh, any noises, squeaks, squeals, scrapes, uh, parts falling off, things of that nature. We don't want to have any noises going on. Uh, we're going to go out and test drive it. I'm going to initiate a couple brake events uh, that is going to burnish the pads and mate them to the rotors. I'm also going to be looking for vibrations or like a pull to the left or right, anything abnormal, because uh, we just cannot have that. All right, guys, hitting the road. Uh, my uh, GoPro battery is at 4%, so I could lose you guys at any given moment. So uh, that being said, I will go ahead and uh, Thank you guys for watching this video right now. As always, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. Uh, feel free to constructively criticize me on my format and how everything went here today. Uh, I am aware that the lighting is terrible and I need to, uh, to adjust on that. Um, but uh, anything, any thoughts you guys might have, I'm totally open for, uh, for a suggestion. And I look forward to uh, reading your comments. So again, and as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. I'll see you guys later. Intersection. Nice, good, soft braking event. That felt good. Like it. Oh, by the way, I, I failed to mention it because um, I can do this now 
we used uh, O'Reilly's uh, premium pads and rotors. I forget, I think they were premium select or something like that, but it was their, their top tier product. That's what we used. A uh, little bit pricier than, uh, than the mid range or, or low range stuff, but uh, we like quality around here. Uh, not so much uh, uh, inexpensive components because you get what you pay for uh, in my estimation. So let me know if you'd like me to also let you guys know uh, what parts we use and where they come from. Uh, no, I'm not gonna tell you how much money things cost. Uh, I don't talk about money on the internet. That's just how it is. But again, I'm open to your, your suggestions and constructive criticisms. And thank you for uh, rendering your opinion as well. Oh, nice. This is a good place for a U-turn. Uh, not with that truck there. U turn driving through the grass. I made it. And on the brakes. Feels pretty good. I did notice like a slight boom to the right. Like it just slightly wants to creep right when you initially initially to press the pedal watch this there it goes and then it evens out I'm recalling that uh, left front caliper that was kind of rough depressing it I'm wondering if that thing's got a, a sticking piston hmm perhaps we'll be doing uh, more brake work on this in the future we'll see I'll see how my guy likes it anyway I'm rambling and I'm out of battery we're down to 1% thanks for watching see you guys later really appreciate you being here I really appreciate you being here have a great day. End of transmission.